the cost to follow Jesus. The Lord has chosen us and we have not come to God because we have made our own decision to follow Jesus. This is God's predestination. This matter God's predestination has worried people. Yes, we are to believe in Jesus to have eternal life. This is a matter of our will. Yet the fact that we are chosen by God also remains. Both these positions seem to be opposing to one another, but we must learn to hold both positions, alongside each other. Eating the flesh of Jesus and drinking his blood was a statement that made the Jews live with Jesus. For many of the disciples too, this was a difficult teaching to accept. The Lord told the disciples that the words that he spoke were spirit and they were life. Yet, they found it difficult to believe in Jesus. He also told them that no one comes to him unless granted by the Father. These were teachings that were too difficult for the majority of the decibels to accept and they decided not to follow Jesus anymore. It was only the twelve, who were left. Praise God that the twelve, represented by Peter, affirmed that they would not leave him for he had the words of eternal life and he was the Christ the Son of God. The Lord could have given a pat on their backs for taking a tough call. Even at this point the Lord did not make things easy for the disciples but told them that one of them is a devil. The Lord never sugarcoated his teachings to make people follow him. He gave them the truth and it was for each one to make a decision to follow Jesus. Yet, we cannot come to him unless it is granted by the Father. How is your commitment to Christ? Are you looking for benefits from Christ, since you are his disciple? Are you willing to forsake all and follow Jesus?